Y'all, school has started, college, everybody's back in college, and you know what that means. That's mean it's time to start tailgating again. And so I'm going to make some just traditional southern devil eggs. And you just going to have to just watch me and see what I do because nothing is measured. I want to make sure you can see me. Okay, I've got my eggs mashed up. I'm going to add silly salt. This is our silly salt, and I just love it for especially cold things. It's salt, garlic, onion, mustard powder, black pepper, thyme, sage, and soybean oil. And the flavors are just, they're just good. And I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of sweet relish. Just a little bit. I don't want to make them too soft. And I like a little mustard in my own. Oops, excuse me, y'all. I love things that make obnoxious sounds. I guess that's why I love my husband. <laughs> All righty. So this is kind of one of those things you just kind of taste and do it the way you want to. And you can't make a deviled egg without some Duke's mayonnaise because it gives you that wonderful twang that we love down south. So you can put as much or as little bit of mayonnaise that you want. And so I'm gonna come in here and mm. That silly salt is so good in there. Yum. I wonder if it can use a tad more mayonnaise. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. I don't want to get them too gooshy. But you want to make sure when you get the yolks out, that your eggs are clean. Thank you, Eddie. That your eggs are nice and clean. That you don't have stuff smeared all over them. I'm gonna try to divide this perfectly because I can always go back and add more. If needed. You know what, I'm gonna do it this way. Why am I picking them up so many different times? Come on, Paul, we use that noodle for something besides those bobby pins. All right, so after I make sure I've got enough for every egg. Oh, look, I have one left over. You have two uh -oh. left over. <laughs> that one broke. That one broke. All right, I just like to come back and make sure that every egg has its due. It has what it's supposed to have. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Now, if you're tailgating, you can... Uh, if you have a deviled egg container, you could just cover this and try to fit it in a cooler. Or this, I'll show you the way I like to serve my deviled eggs when we're picnicking. And I pretend like there's something in this one. I like to put them together and just wrap them in a plastic wrap. So... Instead of getting a half, you get a whole. Mm. So good, it makes less of a mess. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little paprika. 
and just make sure when you grab this jar that it's not cayenne pepper, that it is that it is paprika. Uh oh, that one didn't get much of it. There we go. So this is truly a southern staple down here, and there's so many ways you can take this. Uh, my family loves chopped up shrimp in them or chopped up bacon. Uh, just so many things you can do. Now, Michael would want me to put a jalapeno slice on each one that he's going to have. So adapt it to suit your family and their taste. Um, but a good old southern deviled egg is always in order, y'all. Love and best dishes. Happy tailgating. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.